Orlando is a boy from the United States who, like many other boys, enjoys doing sports. He and his friends spent many afternoons playing baseball while chatting and having fun. What he didn't know was that this activity would change his life forever. One afternoon he was hit in the head with a baseball. After a few seconds he regained his consciousness and got back up. He didn't tell his parents about the incidents and developed a headache over the next weeks. But eventually the headache stopped and the boy nearly forgot what has happened. Soon however, he realized that he gained incredible abilities. He could remember the numbers and letters of car licenses very easily, could recite long texts and could remember each detail about individual days. When his family realized that the boy had these new abilities, they went to see a doctor. After inquiring about the accident, the doctor ran some tests and it became clear. Orlando had Savant syndrome. Savant syndrome is a condition that gives people incredible but narrow talents. My name is Gunn Steinig and today we'll talk about Savant syndrome and how seemingly ordinary people suddenly become extraordinary. Savant syndrome is a rare condition that gives people special abilities in distinct areas of life. Affected individuals are highly gifted in music, maths, arts, calendar calculating or mechanical skills. They often play piano by ear with perfect pitch, paint elaborate masterpieces or know within a second what day January 11, 4096 will be. People with Savant syndrome also have a unique memory. There is a man who recited the first 22,000 numbers of pi after reading through them once and another man who knows over 6,000 books by heart. To understand Savant syndrome better, we will talk about three different people who acquired their abilities in different ways. Through injuries, dementia or autism spectrum disorder. The boy from the beginning of this video acquired incredible talents after he has been hit by a baseball. But there is one very crucial detail, the left part of his brain has been hit. The brain is a highly complicated organ and in order to work, different parts need to fulfill certain tasks. While the left hemisphere of the brain more tends to solve analytical tasks, the right hemisphere is more associated with creativity. Of course in reality it's all a bit more complicated, but let's leave it like that. The accident left damages to Orlando's analytical left hemisphere. As a response, the more creative right hemisphere started to compensate for the weakened left hemisphere. In principle it works like this. When brain cells have to fulfill certain tasks, they become active together. Each time brain cells are active together, they strengthen their connection leading to more orchestrated actions. If one brain region is damaged, another brain region might suddenly get signals to become active instead, leading to new connections. And over time, this can completely rewire the brain. The boy probably gained his intuitive talents as his more creative right hemisphere became responsive to tasks which are normally solved by the analytical left hemisphere. But before you go out to get hit by a baseball, don't do it, it's a very rare condition. Otherwise, the cast of checkers should have all become math progenies by now. Another patient, let's call him George, acquired Savant syndrome after being diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Frontotemporal dementia is a condition where especially the front and the sides of the brain become damaged over time. Before his disease, George was a businessman who was not really interested in art. In his 50s, he started to perceive his environment differently, sometimes sounds or lights felt very intense. His character changed, his language deteriorated and he became forgetful. But while all that happened, he suddenly painted more and more beautiful pictures. People were so impressed by his works that he won several art contests. Although his brain seemed to be more and more damaged by his dementia, some parts formed new connections, leading to his talent. George's case shows us that even elderly people can suddenly acquire Savant syndrome. But there is one group of people where we find Savant syndrome very frequently. People who suffer from the autism spectrum disorder. In general, autism is characterized by difficulties in managing complex social interactions, hyperactive behavior, narrow interests and unusual emotional responses. It is estimated that over 10% of people with autism spectrum disorder also develop Savant syndrome. Will is a man who has been diagnosed with Asperger syndrome, a condition which belongs to the autism spectrum disorder. As a boy, Will has never been particularly interested in calendars. I mean, yeah, they are not very interesting. When he was five, he suddenly developed a unique talent for calculating dates from particular days. Over the next years, he also developed an obsession for drawing. 
He was so good that his paintings have been shown in numerous exhibitions in the United States and Europe. At the same time, his calendar calculation skills became exceedingly good. He could predict the days of dates between the year 1591 up to several thousand years into the future. If we look into the brain of a person with autism spectrum disorder, we often find few connections between different parts of the brain. On the other hand, brain cells form more local connections to each other. It is possible that in Will's case, the lack of these connections led to unusual new connections which are associated with Savant syndrome. But what we additionally have to say is that people with autism spectrum disorder often have obsessive behavior when it comes to their skills and interests. This means that they might excessively exercise something they're interested in, for example drawing. People with autism spectrum disorder also have a natural gift for attention to detail. And all of that combined might then explain why we find Savant syndrome so often in people with autism spectrum disorder. So you might not say, hey, wait a minute, there are people who acquire Savant syndrome late in life. Can I do that as well? Well, a couple of scientists tried to find out whether we can induce Savant syndrome. Based on the knowledge that the left hemisphere is especially damaged in people with Savant syndrome, they decided to block the left anterior temporal lobe. Again, especially this region is damaged in people with Savant syndrome. We can deactivate this brain region by transcranial magnetic stimulation. Here we use a magnet to apply magnetic pulses to the brain, which influences the activity of brain cells. In this manner, the left anterior temporal lobe can be inactivated for a while. In a study, patients were then given a classical riddle. The riddle consists of nine dots. The goal is to connect all nine dots using just four straight lines. However, you're not allowed to lift your pen up or retract a line. So for example, we can start here and nope. If you want, you can pause the video right now and try the riddle yourself. I just wait here, I mean, yeah. All right, the solution to this riddle is to draw outside the dots. Yeah, it's a bit mean. In a small study, none of the participants could solve this riddle. After magnet has inhibited the left anterior temporal lobe, however, over 40% of participants were able to solve it. In another study, people had to read text upon stimulation. The goal of the participants was to find errors in long paragraphs which are easily missed, such as the duplication of the word the. Ha, gotcha. Two out of 11 participants showed improvements after the stimulation and these effects vanished within an hour. Does it mean that we should stick a magnet to a head when we have to write a coursework? Well, of course, no, we are not compasses. It doesn't work like that. It only means that we might have the ability to get Savant syndrome if we inhibit parts of our brain. So we do not fully understand Savant syndrome yet. However, we do know that Savant syndrome is accompanied by changes in the brain where the right hemisphere compensates for the left hemisphere. We also know that we all theoretically have the potential to acquire Savant syndrome. People with autism spectrum disorder are especially prone to develop Savant syndrome due to changes in the brain, their attention for detail and their special focus. But in the end, Savant syndrome remains enigmatic, but also astonishing. I hope that you liked this video. If so, leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Some one of you suggested this topic, so what should I cover next? Let me know in the comment section. And with that, I'll see ya. We cannot really acquire Savant syndrome talents, but we can lower our risk to get brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Click on this video if you want to know more. If you want to know how scientists hack eyes to cure blindness, you might like this video.